Theo Vaughn on being nervous around women. I love Theo. I remember when I was young, I, I could not talk to girls. I just felt embarrassed. There was, oh, I couldn't talk to girls that I liked. That was the toughest part. Um, I was just afraid. You know, I just had this thing built in my head that they hated me or that they just did not like me. And I remember one time, I, this girl I, I was just in love with as a child, I remember that I spit in her hair. Thank you, Vince. Um, because I was so pent up with wanting to just tell her that I liked her maybe or something <laughs> that I couldn't. So I just gathered every bit of genetic ability, liquid ability in my face <laughs> and just deposited it on, onto her head one time. He's so um, funny. And I ended up getting suspended for that. <laughs> you know, I went through a time where I was so nervous to talk to women the only thing I could use were like shitty pickup lines, you know, garbage ones. You know, I'm a polar bear. I'm about to break the ice, you know, that garbage, you know, verbal. And then I used to have this one line. In hindsight, this shit is horrible. I was like, uh, let's play Hiroshima. I'll lay on my back and you blow the shit out of me. <laughs> so that was, but I mean, that's where I was. I was at a point where... Personally, he I says it so calmly. Find a comfort level you where I can blow speak the to shit women. out of me. You gotta, you have to, you have to get through it, and you're gonna have to practice. And what I would practice is listening. I'd practice listening, man. I think you're, you, you could be thinking, because I personally used to think that I had to start the conversation every time. Sometimes you can just listen, just listen. I mean, a lot of women, all they want is a man to listen to them. And to care. And I think if you start with that, with the listening, then you'll eventually find spots where you can interject and offer. Yeah. So um, what he's really saying, and and for people like Theo with his personality type, it's it's like people that aren't coaches on social skills. What he's basically trying to say is that um, we are so caught up in making this a performance. We're so caught up in thinking like, oh, when I talk to somebody... It like they literally I'm putting on a show and if they like the show, then I win. It's kind of like, oh, we're doing stand up. I am going to go do stand up. If they laugh, if they're pleased with me, I have won. I did good. I killed. Right. But socializing is not like that. No matter how badly you want it to be like that, you are not performing. If you are performing, it's not an interaction. It's a performance. What he's saying when he says listen is he's basically saying interact because you could say, hey, how are you doing today? And then you listen. And when you're watching and you're really focused, they could be like, oh, it's a good day. You know, and he'd be like, oh, you said that a little weird. Is it really a good day? So then you're interacting now. You're not performing. And when you do that, that person goes, oh, wow, he noticed a lot of or she noticed a lot of things you know, about me in such a small second, he, I could tell that he's really socially inclined and I'm going to keep interacting. And now I'm more interested because I could tell that this person is taking a vested interest in who I am, which means that they want to connect. When you put on a performance, you're literally making it hard for yourself. Because if you go, oh, I have to go perform for this person. And so I'm going to go try that. What do you think the person is going to do? No, don't perform for me. Interact. Be friend, like, Let's connect. No, they're going, oh, you want to perform? Okay. Let's see what you got, bitch. Let's see what you got, fuck face. <laughs> you want to impress me? Let's see what you got. That's not fun. That's what I used to do when I was young. Because I didn't know, because that's just what I've been taught.